Hi, and welcome to a really important update on the throat. Now, these important updates are based on me giving lessons to people, often with the illusion of competence, thinking they're doing things correctly and they're actually not. Uh, conversations on the forum where people are asking questions, and today is about the throat. Now, it seems the concepts, or what I'm going to call T's, T E E S, technical everyday elements. These are elements in playing that we need to embed over time. Now, obviously, based on my golfing experience, which you can read about on the forum, there'll be a lot more material about that come uh, around soon. We need to embed these elements every day. Technical elements like the body's concert hall. Now, if you're here and you're just doing the trial, sign up for the foundation level and find out what it's all about. There's a heap of really valuable information that doesn't cost very much. So when you understand oh, the body's concert hall and its uh, effect in playing, how the body is part of the instrument, then we learn the feeling of it with eyes closed. This is all explained. But in the forum, there is this issue about the throat closing up. And what I've discovered is people have a real problem with getting the air to the lips or behind the tongue. And basically the concept of the release, the release of energy. Now I'm talking a lot less about air and a lot more about energy now, because in fact, we're energizing the air in the pipe. I don't like the psychology, as you know, of blow because so little flow is going through the instrument, especially as we get higher. It's more about letting the sound wave oscillate within the body and the instrument. So we overexert because of the psychology of blow. So in order to fix this problem, I have developed the body's concert hall, both as a feeling and an understanding. And also, Poo Lip, Ku KMT and Two, the five releases, the five articulations. You need to understand these. And the thing that I'm really fighting to get people to understand is the amount of repetition that is required to get what I'm talking about, to feel the sensation of it, and then to embed it to a point where consciously we don't have to think about it. Rewiring our circuit board is not an easy thing to do. Whilst consciously we can come up with things that we agree with or disagree with based on our belief system, once we've got the belief system and the knowledge covered, then embedding it so the body reacts all the time is a long-term process. And I'm going to develop the cycle of T's. <laughs> They're all the technical everyday elements that I'm using with golf as well as with, with brass playing to go, we recognize one element, the next element, the next element, the next element, the next element, and so on. But we can't focus on all of them. So we work on them individually. And over time, they embed themselves. And on those beautiful days, they synchronize. And we have coffee moments. And we have moments where playing is easy, is fun, and sounds great. So you can do this. You can all do it. Anyone can do this. But it's the understanding and the belief. And then recognizing, like in the forum, when we go to stop the air, the throat closes and somebody mentioned, I can feel that I'm not getting the air to the lips because this happens. The throat closes off at the top of the breath. Now, some people will say, never stop the air. But unfortunately, we have to stop the air depending on particular styles of music that we're playing in. And as I describe in many of the videos here, there are times when we need to stop the air stylistically and environmentally. <laughs> okay? So in order to feel this and to use this passive uh, release, the passive reduction that's all explained in the course, uh, you need to understand the feeling. You need to recognize where the body starts to lock. So at the top of the breath, a lot of people don't realize that they're going <sighs> and the throat's closing. We don't want that. The very first video, the sound equation. G'day Greg, can we do something? There's a purpose behind this. 
that every a lot of people feel like this when they play not everyone but most the body's like this okay and whilst i can play because i did for years you don't have to so the body's concert hall breath close your eyes there's no illusion of competence and while i'm at it you've got to film yourself so when you see yourself going like a lot of people do you go hang on a minute the lungs are here there's a video in the ultimate level called breathe to the lungs why is it not at the start of the course because there's enough information already but it's really important the lungs are here so we get the air to the lungs unimpeded we're relaxed we're dropped then the body wants to come back to here let's say this is the lungs and the rib cage the intercostal muscles and everything and someone brings up an interesting point in the forum now as we breathe in for the ribs to stay out here the intercostals and the cartilage around the ribs and everything has to be engaged it has to be active when we relax the air comes out again passive active <laughs> active passive active okay passive active passive active okay so when i use the balloon demonstration this is assuming a relaxed body let me say that again the full balloon is the model of a relaxed body the only reason that the air is not coming out is because of the fingers now when we do this often the throat closes it doesn't have to and we don't want it to but it's happening a lot so we need to recognize when it's happening and we've got all these different tricks throughout all the videos to show you how to do it the five releases poo lip coo kmt and two is a big one but even then the throat can get in the way what's the best way to eliminate it be aware of it make yourself do it get the feeling of your throat closing and then you will recognize when you do it how different it feels to that passive release now this is going to tie into it's no harder to play than talk no harder to play than sing or hum which a lot of people have a lot of it uh, a few issues with or a lot of issues with and i don't care i'm going to prove it to you that it is correct but for now the balloon is the body here except the tongue was in the way or the lips were in the way or the coup was in the way or two was in the way or K modified was in the way behind a relaxed body the active part of playing for the basically all of the foundation level are uh, the the Lago stage is active then relax and release which is passive if the throat starts to close recognize it a thousand times do the body's concert hall breath what does it feel like again I will discuss in the illusion of competence video people don't recognize that they're going active in the abdominals versus passive you can hear and see the difference and when you're doing it you can feel it so it's very important that as you go through the Largo stage and the foundation level here when I say passive I mean passive no engagement when I say body's concert hall open in the throat I mean open in the throat no blow release I can't emphasize these issues enough so as you're working through the lessons please 
listen to exactly and replicate exactly what I'm saying to get that free feeling, the feeling of freedom. There's a feeling of nothingness, a low C. Mm, if I was to pick up my trumpet, which I'll do shortly and then play, mm, pff, completely passive, there is no push and it's super loud. Let's see if I can line the trumpet up. Now, obviously, I don't uh, have perfect pitch. It's thereabouts. So that sound of playing is no different to or now again is a pedal tone, a low C. Okay, the aperture corners are more engaged. The aperture is smaller. It gets bigger the louder that we get, but we don't need to push to play a really loud low C. Once you get that, all of a sudden, everything that I've said in the Largo stage and throughout the foundation level and throughout the whole course will make a whole lot more sense to you, <laughs> okay? So beware the illusion of competence. Be uh, aware of the amount of repetitions that it takes to reprogram your circuit board, your neural wiring. Your brain is plastic, neuroplasticity. It's plastic, it just doesn't want to be because it thinks it's got it all figured out already. But if you would like to play more easily, you have to understand what I'm saying you have to believe that you can do it, which you can. And when you close your eyes and hum, you go, there's no way I can play like this. This, you can. And I have this conversation two, three, four times a day with students all over the world from beginners to absolute professionals. And once they get it, and once they realize that they are breathing up and grabbing in the body or pushing or pinching the lips down and playing actively versus and letting the sound come back into the body's concert hall. And the other day I referred to the throat as the foyer. <laughs> okay, we want it to stay open. We never want those concert hall doors to close. And that's what's happening in the throat. You must detect it. If I've met you or I haven't met you, I can guarantee that most people will engage here. And it is devastatingly bad <laughs> for your playing and your development. So go through Body's Concert Hall, the 1% rule, the uh, sound equation, uh, sound equals flow plus tension, all of these videos, listen closely, be aware that the throat can stay open, and be aware of the feeling of the pressure at the lips and then the release without the throat closing. Okay, so here are a couple of drills to get you to experience the release without any closure in the throat. Now we are going to breathe in through the nose slowly. At the top of the breath, just relax the body. Now, if we were to grab the balloon and use the two fingers, the air wouldn't come out. <laughs> so where's the air coming out? Through the nose. Let's use our two fingers to block the nose. And when you do that, you'll feel your ears block. Okay, so then what I want to do is let the air out through the mouth. Now, when you're doing that, your ears, if you're like mine, are going to block, 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 right? So when you relax the body and get the air to the lips and to the nose, 
It's the same as the balloon. Now, again, I refer to the, the comment in the forum where to hold the balloon out, the person who commented seemed like it was active because of the inter intercostal muscles and the cartilage and so on and so forth. But it's not. We're relaxing the body, but the air can't come out. So I use the balloon as a bit of a visual. To say that it was engaged would be to say that the hand is grabbing the balloon wanting to push the air out, but we're not doing that. This is a passive relaxation. Then as soon as you open the lips, the air is released. So can you do that without the throat closing? A lot of people can't. In my experience in teaching, I've noticed a lot of people have trouble with this, but it's a very easy thing to do. In through the nose, out through the nose, in through the nose, block the nose, let it out through the mouth. Then you don't need to block the nose to do this. So then we've got the feeling of the release from between the lips. Then, if we use the tongue, well, I'll breathe in through the nose. There is the passive release. Now we can also experiment when we block the nose. So what I'm doing there is keep blocking. I'm using the abdominals to push the air to the nose or using the abdominals to push the air to the mouth. So close your eyes and figure out what's going on there and recognize that doing all of these, the throat doesn't have to close. So then when we look at Poo Lip Coo KMT and 2, we can recognize the poo. Lip, coo, KMT, two. They're all releases and they're all passive. There is no engagement from the body and the throat does not have to get engaged on any of them. So then the body's concert hall opening up. Now, as of a lesson today with a focal dystonia student, I am now referring, and this is a big change, the door to the concert hall from the outside is the mouth. Then the oral cavity, the throat, is the foyer. Then here, where the vocal cords are, and into the chest is, are the doors to the concert hall. And then the ripper we breathe down low by releasing the pit of the stomach. You guessed it, the orchestra pit. <laughs> so the body's concert hall has now started at the door all the way to the pit. And it's that feeling. I had this student going, ah, ah, ah. And she'd be going, ah, ah, ah. And then as soon as you release, ah, and you feel the openness here, Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, and recognize that the energy, feel the energy. Here are two exercises that I've been using, doing a lot with all my students and I'm going to introduce throughout the course. V for victory, there's your aperture corners, there's your mouthpiece. There's the release, there's no closure in the throat. Close your eyes, what does this feel like? Then feel the energy. There is the energy required to energize the air in the instrument and it feels the same. It's the same thing when we get this expansion of the breath, whether we use poo lip, coo, KMT or two, feel the energy, then air in, set the corners, air behind the tongue, Ah, 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 the body's concert hall from the pit of the stomach all the way through 
the chest cavity, the uh, tracheobronchial tree above the lungs, into the throat, into the foyer, into the lips. The energy energizes the pipe. There is no requirement for the throat to lock. Feel the energy from the reducing body. It's the same thing. There is no blow for this note and for the singing C. We want to get expansion and passive reduction. Work through the course and watch the videos 10,000 times. And eventually, when you close your eyes, we don't want any illusion of competence here. When you're shutting your eyes, another mantra that I'm introducing through the course eyes open for learning eyes closed for storing, for looking around, for feeling the sensation. And if you're not feeling when you're playing with no kick, you're not doing it right. You're going into player mode, you 1.0 versus you 2.0 will feel that energy, will feel the, the stopping of the air, then the releasing of the air, the releasing of the energy, more like it, energizing the pipe, then opening the lips and letting the energy reflect backwards through the front door, <laughs> through into the foyer, into the concert hall, down to the orchestra pit. Oh, relax, let go. We are not blowing the trumpet, we are releasing energy. Please email me, get onto the forum. Let's get this conversation happening all over the place. I've thankfully been invited to speak at the International Trumpet Guild uh, 2021, which is online. I cannot wait to talk about all this stuff to the Trumpet Guild fans, and this video will be around for a while. So if it's after June 2021, the videos of what I've done will be available to you through the website. So please understand what this is such a vitally important technique to understand for your ongoing development and your uh, progression through the course. Anyone can do all of the ultimate level exercises and play all over the instrument no matter what style of music you want to play if you want to and you follow the instructions. Okay. Get back to the course, get practicing, mindful practice, lots of eyes closed, lots of humming, lots of bodies concert hall, lots of active, lots of passive, more active, release. Learn how the body works, learn how sound works, play more easily, have more fun. See you later. Mm -hmm.